guys, it's coffee time. I took like the smallest drink possible. You know when you really want to try something but you know that it's really hot? I literally just brewed this. It's like this is going to be really hot coffee. So I'm going to literally just pick up like dribbles, like weird little dribbles and kind of pretend that I tasted enough of it to decide whether or not it's good. That's what I did just now. But in the end, I saved my taste buds, so I feel like it's okay. Also, if you hear a lot of outside noise, it's because my window is open and I ain't closing it because it's so hot in my room. Part of the reason for that, me like feeling hot, aside from the fact that I'm now drinking hot coffee, but part of the reason for that was that, um, so Ro was doing a Nerdy Nummies today, and I got up early so that I could do uh, a review for Dead or Alive 5 for TGS, which by the way, that game is just awesome, I love it. Uh, but when I got back, I had to be like super quiet, right? So I'm like sitting here and I'm, you know, farting around on Tumblr and whatever else, I'm like, well, I gotta be quiet, I can't watch videos, and if I did watch a video, I would have to plug in my headset, which is so, it's not that much work, but I always, I always feel like it's such a hassle, even though all I have to do is go. <clears throat> it's like literally the process, but I was like, I don't want to have to plug in my headset. So, oh look, the cat's so cute on my bed. I'm going to go hang out with the cat. <sighs> and just immediately fell asleep. So when I woke up, you know when you fall asleep in a kind of warm condition and when you wake up you're just sweaty and gross? That was me today. I was like, ugh, I'm so disgusting. So now, I'm really sweaty and gross. If you were here, if you imagine, imagine that you are right here. Perhaps you are my guest on Coffee Time. We're discussing topics of importance, Prop 30 and whatnot and you like lean in to do something and then you immediately lean back because my odor is so fantastical. It's not that bad yet, but I feel like I'm on the cusp. Like I gotta take a shower now or this, this creepy nap smell is gonna just get her aware. I'm not into that. But yeah. So that's, I mean, like, if we were to discuss what I did today, I got up really early, I went to TGS, and recorded Dead or Alive 5. Um, I tried on my costume for the music video that we're filming on Thursday, and I thought for sure it was not going to fit me, and it totally did, which means that I've accidentally lost weight again, and at first I was like, how did that happen? That's so weird. I had the flu. <laughs> I wasn't eating for a couple days. I was like, oh... That's right, which just means that I need to find the most unhealthy food possible and eat a lot of that. I'm just gonna order eight pizzas. Be like, no, no, guys, I don't need help. I got this. And I'll just sit and watch all the TV and just eat millions of pizza. Cheeselets, obviously. Have you guys ever heard? I, I can't, I can't decide if this sounds ridiculous or not. There's like a diet that's called the blood type diet. Um. One of my family members is looking into it. They really want to do the blood type diet. And I was like, what is that? So I looked it up and it's, it's this theory that depending on what blood type you have, you should be eating different food because certain blood types were developed at different stages in our growth, right? Like as a species. So they're like, yeah, if you're blood type O, then you should be eating only red, red meats, lots of proteins and some vegetables. Um, and if you're blood type A, oh, what was it? If you're blood type A, um, you should be having a mostly vegetarian diet, no red meat. Um, if you're blood type B, then uh, you're, you're most able to withstand things that some people's systems are sensitive to. So you'd be very good with dairy and whatnot. It's like, that is hilarious. But that made me realize that I have no idea what my blood type is. <laughs> I totally forgot. I remember <coughs> my mom and I were actually discussing this because I was like, do you know what my blood type is? Because I have no idea. And she's like, I don't know either, actually. Because I've never had any sort of like a medical condition where I've needed, we've needed to know what blood type I am. Um, so I, 
I have no idea. It's somewhere. I'm sure it's written down somewhere because I've had plenty of blood taken. But I don't know. I have no idea what my blood type is. And that made me wonder how many... Do most people know? Most people that I think this has come up with have known their own blood type. So I think most people probably know their own blood type. So funny. And like in Japanese culture, how like different blood types affect your personality. Like if you're a certain blood type, then you're going to be more aggressive than another blood type. I don't know. It's hilarious. I think it's funny. Like <laughs> blood types. I do know that my dad has a rare B blood type, I think. It's like a, a rare form of the B blood type because he's been called quite a few times to uh, possibly give blood because not many people have his blood type. I think that's right. And I know I've told you guys this before, but I can't give blood because I don't weigh enough, which is so stupid. I guess, like, in Oregon, every time I tried to give blood in Oregon, they asked me how much I weighed. And I was like, do I lie? I don't know. Would they be able to tell? Are they going to eventually weigh me? I just don't know. Apparently here, they don't ask you. And I don't know if that's a state difference or if that's just a, the people that I've talked with gave blood somewhere where they didn't care sort of a thing. But like the reason behind that, the reason that if you're, if you weigh a certain amount, they wouldn't take blood from you is because they take the same amount of blood from everybody. So if you weigh too little, um, then taking that amount of blood is most likely going to make you pass out. So I'm like, well, I don't want to pass out. Like, I don't want to just ignore what they're saying and then possibly wind up with a scenario where I'm like, they have to take care of me until I wake back up. Um, but I, I feel like I'm a prime person to do it because needles don't bother me at all. I'm like, yeah, stick that in there. Stick another one in the other arm, whatever. I don't care. So it makes me sad. Like I could be helping people. <sighs> I looked into giving bone marrow once and then found out that they actually like pay you for that. Like they'll give you money for your bone marrow. I was like, that's weird. That's weird. I wonder if it hurts though. I feel like it must hurt, right? Cause they have to like go in the, like you in your bone. Like how could that not hurt? Why are we talking about this? I don't know. But yeah, so. Life is unfair again. Can't give blood. I weigh too little, etc. Which just means, again, that I need the eight pizzas. We came full circle. I need the eight pizzas so that I can reach the weight necessary in order to give all the blood. So that's going to be my goal. That's what I'm going to go and do. <laughs> um, there's the night tonight. I'm really excited because the new Sherlock game came out. So I'm going to start playing that game and record that. And, and if it's not, if it's not too ridiculous, I'll, I'll upload it to press heart. Um, and we just ordered pho. Like I said, I got a bun. Somebody was telling me that it's not pronounced that way though. Wait, uh, Shelly bun. How do you pronounce that? Bun, pa, bun, rice vermicelli, the origin for many Vietnamese delicious dishes. Yeah, but how do you pronounce it? How, how to pronounce? Roughly, boon. Ah, ah, I will take the vermicelli boon, please. It's a boon, not a bun, but it's spelled B-U-N when it's not in Vietnamese. Boon. It's a boon. Okay. All right. This is kind of like when people realize that it's not pho, it's pho, right? It's a boon. It's a boon, cat. Kitty, guess what? It's a boon. Oh, say hi to everybody. It's been so long. He's like, I'm so sleepy. Why are you doing this? What's happening? What's going on? Where am I? What you doing, kitty? She's gonna go right back where he was. He's like, I was in the process of doing something. I don't know what it was, but you interrupted me, and that is not okay. Huh. Hi, you adorable mister. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go. 
Uh, I've already downloaded the Sherlock game, so I'm literally going to wait until my food gets here, and then I'm just going to eat all the food and play all the games, and it's going to be great. But I hope that you guys had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Mwah!